Suppose the gravitational constant was just a teeny bit weaker than it is. Well, amazingly, if it were just one part in 10 to the 14th weaker than its actual value, then after the Big Bang, there would not have been enough gravitational force to result in coalescence of stars, galaxies, planets, and us. It would have been this infinitely diffused, uh, sterile universe without the possibility of anything like life. If the gravitational constant was a tiny bit stronger, then everything would come back together a little too soon, and the Big Bang would be followed by a big crunch. <laughs> not a pretty picture, because we needed the time, of course, for life to appear, and that time would not have been offered. So here you have a, a really interesting circumstance where this constant, which could have had almost any value you could imagine, happens to have exactly the precise value and a very fine tolerance, indeed, that makes life possible. And that's just one of about 15 such constants, all of which, if you tinker with them, result in a universe not capable of sustaining any kind of form of life. I'm not just talking about life like we recognize it, but anything that inv involves complexity. And that seems to be a profound challenge uh, to the strict atheist, although there's a way out of it. So let me tell you what the way out is. I mean, basically, you've got two options here. First of all, you cannot say this is just a coincidence. It is too unimaginably unlikely to be just a coincidence. So either there is an infinite series of parallel universes out there that we cannot measure that have different values of these constants. And of course, we have to live in the one where life is possible, or we wouldn't be here having this conversation. Or you have to say that they were actually set on purpose. Now, which of those conclusions requires more faith? 